I use this dog biscuit recipe for my pets all the time. This is kind of one of the go-to treats that I almost always have on hand. It's made with just three ingredients, so it's a really great for dogs that need a limited ingredient diet that have allergies or sensitive stomach issues. Um, and the other thing that I like about it is that you can cater it to your dog's needs. So I use oat flour, but if your dog needs another type of flour, um, you can cater it to their needs. If they have issues with wheat or um, gluten, things like that, you can make adjustments. You can use the flour that you have on hand. Say you have like coconut flour or if you have whole wheat flour, you can always substitute and um, cater it for what your dog needs or what you happen to have on hand so you don't have to spend a bunch of money. The first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And then in a large mixing bowl, we are going to combine two mashed bananas and half a cup of peanut butter. Then I have one and a half cups of oat flour and I'm just going to add about half of it and then come back and add the other half. This dough is really dry and crumbly. Um, it's, it's a very firm dough but it is pliable. So I'm just going to mix this until it's combined and then add the other half of that flour and finish making my dough. You can see how dry and crumbly my dough is. If you want to, you can roll it out on a floured surface, roll it until it's about a quarter of an inch thick, and then you can use a cookie cutters or a pizza cutter to uh, make small biscuit cookies for your dog. I use a mini muffin tray. That's the easiest way for me to do it. And I just press the dough. into each muffin. Once you get each of your muffin tins full, you're going to bake these in your 350 degree oven for about 15 minutes. And then you can feed them to your dog. If you're looking for the nutrition information, uh, just click the link below this video. It will take you to our website and all the nutrition information is there, including the calories in each treat. Um, you know, adding treats to your dog's diet does add calories. While these are fairly low in calories as far as homemade treats are concerned, they do still add extra calories to the diet. So you want to make sure that you're offsetting that by either feeding less food or only feeding one or two treats a day and giving your dog a little extra exercise because you don't want to add any extra weight that will make him unhealthy. Thanks for watching this recipe video. I'll be back with another one very soon.